Hey welcome back. Today we are going to animate the logo we have created in my last video using the professional grade motion design tools on a phone. If you caught my last video you saw me create a pretty slick logo for a fictional company called Ladyfinger. And today you will be amazed at what we can do with this little device in our pocket. So if you are ready to see our Ladyfinger logo come alive and maybe inspire your next masterpiece do watch the whole video and let's dive into our phones and start animating the app is called Alight Motion and here is what it looks like here you can find all your previous projects let's create a new project from here i'll select the square aspect ratio 1080p resolution is enough and select 60 fps frame rate for smooth animation and for background color i'll take white now hit create project so this is our first look at the app's interface let me quickly walk you through it this large white square is our canvas here you can see our project settings and from this plus icon we can add stuff to our canvas while the object is selected we can see the object properties in the bottom area and if we deselect it then we can see our layers now let's bring the logo we have created in the vector ink app in the previous video i want the duration of the animation to be 3 seconds so i'll extend this layer up to 3 second mark Now I'll bring a rectangle to make the background of the animation. Resize it to fit the canvas. Now our logo has disappeared because it's on the lower layer. So let's bring it on top. And I'll pick this orange color from the logo as the background. Here I have enlarged this layer and brought the logo in the middle and reduced the opacity to recreate this logo again on top of it. Now all I'll do is recreate this logo by adding the shapes. First we will add a rectangle and adjust its shape. then we have to skew it minus 30 degrees in the x axis let me move it in the correct position i really like the transform tool in this app it's very precise and easy to use now we will duplicate it and move it down and we will have to extend each layer up to 3 second mark this process is almost identical to what we did in the previous video using the vector ink app now what i'll do is quickly add other shapes and finish this logo So the logo is done. We don't need this reference layer from now on so I'll delete it. Now we need to arrange these shapes into groups so that it will be easier for us to animate it. Select all the layers except the background and create a group. Let's align it to the center. Now move into this group. Click on edit group. In here we will create another group containing three shapes of this pill. Okay, now we will start animating. We will start with these two bars. So I'll hide others. Select the first bar. So this is a 60 fps animation which means 30th frame will be the half of a second. So move the cursor to the 30th frame and in the move and transform property tap here to add a keyframe. 
This will be the ending position of the animation for this bar. Now move to the beginning and give it a starting position. It will automatically add a keyframe here. You can see the bar is moving between keyframes. All we have given is the starting and ending position. Now if we tap this icon, we see different type of easing curves. These curves determine how the object will move between the keyframes. Here we want sort of a bouncing animation. So click on here and you will see different bouncing curves. We will select this curve for our animation. We will set the ending and starting keyframe for the other bar also. And choose the same type of bouncing curve. Let's check the animation till now. Looks good. Let's move to this horizontal bar. This object starts animating after the previous animation completes. So the starting for this is the 30th frame. For this we have to animate the shape property instead of the move and transform. And the ending is the 60th frame that is the 1 second mark. First let's set the ending keyframe. Go to the 30th frame. Then edit the shape like this. But you can see that this mess up the position of the object. We will fix it. So first let's set the easing curve for this. To fix its position we have to animate the position property also just like we did before. Now it's looking perfect. Now let's move to this pill shape. Tap on the edit group. Here we have three shapes, a square and a two circles. First let me hide the left circle and the square and select this circle. Let's add a keyframe at the 30th frame in the scale property and make the size 0 at the first frame. So this will be a scaling up animation. Again edit the easing curve to get the smoother and natural motion. Now for the square we will animate its scale property but only on the x axis. I want this circle to emerge at the center of the square then move to the right. So we have to animate its position also. It moves to the right after the scale animation completes. And similarly we will animate the other circle. And our little animation is done. The ladyfinger logo is now alive and kicking right from my phone. And if you missed on how I designed this logo, then go check out my last video in which I used an amazing app to do the vector design on my phone. And hey, if you enjoyed watching our ladyfinger logo come to life, why not show some love too? Hit the like button, subscribe and click on the join button to support the channel. See you in the next one.